All right, let's take a look at what comes in the kit. Uh, we've got a socket head cap screw. We've got two jam nuts. We've got the latch assembly, which is pre-assembled with the detent spring there. And we've got the uh, the striker here. I've already installed the striker over here, so we're gonna set that aside, just take a look at how that was installed. It's installed right here between the uh, clevis and the jam nut. And the only real important part to look at is that that striker gets installed perpendicular to that clevis. Now to get this out of the way, we're actually just gonna turn that piston 180 degrees. Now that's not gonna be how you install it once you install your handle, but that'll get this out of the way so we can install the rest. All right, so we're gonna take this socket head cap screw. We're gonna replace the standard uh, uh, fastener that was in here with the socket head cap screw. We're gonna take both of these jam nuts and we're going to thread them onto the socket head cap screw. Pretty straightforward. They are, uh, they are coarse threads, so fairly easy to get started. I'm gonna go about that far on that one. The next one we're just gonna to get to where it's got a couple of threads protruding out the end. Right about to there. Now we're gonna take this assembly, the uh, latch, and we are going to feed it through this window, line it up with that thread, and get that started. Now you can see why I flipped that uh, that striker over because that's in the way at this point and kind of a hassle when we're trying to get this all adjusted. Now that we've got that adjusted, we're gonna take and we're gonna work these, uh, these jam nuts back even further, particularly this one here. We're gonna move almost all the way to the back, but not quite because we wanna still have the ability to rotate this socket head cap screw. Now we can take and spin that socket head cap screw and that's going to allow us to adjust the latch inward and outward so the more we pull it back uh, toward the back of the bracket here uh, the more it's going to hold the handle in the aft position when it's latched the more we move it uh, the more we move it clockwise or i'm sorry counterclockwise the more it is going to uh, you know pull less basically um, so once we get that in there, we basically tighten both of these jam nuts down, paying close attention and making sure that when you tighten this jam nut down, that this surface up here is uh, is flat. And the reason is, again, once you get that flipped over, you're going to want all of this to align appropriately, uh, perpendicularly. You don't want this to be off angle, you don't want this to be off angle, etc. Obviously, you know, the, the orientation of the clevis is gonna be dictated by the handle, but if these two aren't perpendicular with each other, it's gonna make latching this a little bit more difficult. So once you've got all of that done, you're gonna tighten the jam nuts and get all of that tightened down. You can throw your handle back in and then you're back to this situation here where you can pull back, latch, test. If you, if one thing I would recommend is leaving these two jam nuts loose until you can get it into this position and test to make sure that it works. If it does not work, that gives you ample opportunity to get a quarter inch Allen key on the back of this and tighten it down until it grabs hard enough. Um, that's gonna give you the ability to adjust everything in car dynamically and, uh, and, and get everything set up appropriately. So that's my best advice. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us an email at sales at namelessperformance.com and we can answer any direct questions you have about your installation.